Well, this is my new workplace. I just, uh, my, over here used to be where I would work and this was kind of a side desk, but I kind of rearranged and opened this up and uh, I just love it because now I can put a camera directly there and I think get better angles and better shots and, and, and maybe tighter stuff. Um, while I'm seated here, I can go up and even, you know, zoom in real nice. So um, I think it's really cool. What I wanted to do right now is show you something about texture. So I am uh, making what are going to be rocks um, for the background of my Indiana Jones temple display. And I just wanted to share something because it just really gives a super nice texture that looks like rock as soon as you paint it. And we'll see some pictures of that later. But basically what I did was, uh, you know, I cut these out with my uh, wire cutter and then I contoured them with this, and this is just fantastic. Uh, my father-in-law gave this to me. It's a Fordham, and what it does is it runs at a lower RPM than any of my other devices, and that means I can get in here and I can do this stuff and avoid something that's pretty easy with this foam, which is overheating and then it melts or it clogs up your tool. Because this goes at a low speed, because it's a pretty aggressive tool, um, I can get in here and contour these really nice, and it leaves a pretty darn rough finish. So uh, I just use this, and this is just my little heat gun, and when I do this, I'm on the highest setting, just goes across there, and knocks everything down immediately. All the fuzzy stuff that was kind of, you know, up in the air, it'll, it'll kind of brush off. But then, when I put paint on that, that's gonna be a really nice, rough, textured surface without putting anything on it. Now, I, I would still probably want to put Mod Podge. I do a 50-50 cut of Mod Podge and water. It allows me to seal this thing up so that if I do something with a solvent-based paint, it doesn't melt this plastic and then ruin the design that I'm, I'm trying to create. So anyway, I thought that was kind of a, a fun part of this. It gives a great texture, and we'll see you later once uh, I get some paint on it. This background for my Hot Toys DX05 Indiana Jones collectible in 2019. I'm recreating it. So there's my new background. There's the floor. I'll work on that later today. But yesterday I was working on these. These are the, the rocks that are going to go on the back. Um, now, because of all the stuff that comes off of these, it's not great. I use a respirator, but I'm also using a downdraft table. So this is off of my table saw, and there's a plenum down here. I've got this open to kind of show. It's, if anything, drops through there, you can just clean it out there. And then here's a couple of gate valves. One goes to the down draft, the other one goes to my table saw. And then they both go right back to my dust collector. So just a little simple video to show you how I kind of keep that dust down when I'm working on my phone. <laughs> 